Hello, this is a message for Amir at a ministry that is based in Israel. And um, when I wanted to do this message addressing you personally, I thought it was worth doing on my channel so that your followers and my followers were aware of the situation. Amir, I did two videos in response to some of my followers who watch my content who were recommending that I watch your material, your content that you put out. I did that, I took their advice and I gave two video responses to what I consider end time discussion and just closely examining your position on the end times and there were a couple of things that we agree with but there are a lot of things that we disagree with and I thought theologically we could have a discussion on my channel not you and I but on my channel so I did these two videos and your ministry your office has had issues with those videos and they've now been removed there were copyright claims made against my channel and YouTube doing their job have removed those two videos I want to appeal to you to please consider speaking to the people who sit in the office and made these copyright claims on my channel. I mean, I'm a small channel. I'm nowhere close to the kind of crowd or the kind of following that you have. I'm a small channel. I've only just begun. I've been here for one year and I really would encourage you to reconsider. You may or may not be even aware of what took place. I'm thinking that you don't know, that you're not aware, it wasn't brought to your attention. And if that's the case, then that's really disappointing to know that your ministry office make decisions based on presumption. Now I'm aware of the fair, root, fair use <laughs> fair use laws. I've now changed my videos. I put this wording because I do often share content from other channels in discussion based on this two-way discussion. It's not to critique you personally. It's not to come against you or any ministry. I'm not a Jezebel. I'm not a hater of you personally. I am actually fond of your ministry. But there are, again, things that I disagree with and I have the absolute right to disagree with anybody and you have the right to disagree with me also. But I want to consider um, and give you the benefit of the doubt. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt that you unintentionally set out to ruin my channel and this ministry that the Lord has given me by having my channel shut down. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and I want to ask you to please reconsider, speak to the people that work in your office and have them take back their copyright claims. What I did falls within the guidelines, Brother Ahmed. In no way have I violated any copyright, I've not infringed on your rights. This is regarding, let's say, if you consider apologetics industry or the Ministry of Apologetics, not industry. <laughs> Although, however, some churches and corporate corporations do work as industries now as a shame. This is what happens within the church. We have discussions, we have debate, we look at um, theories, we look at doctrine and we examine them. Can you sort this out as soon as possible because I have worked really hard to build up my channel on my own. I'm not affiliated with any ministry. I don't have any big names backing me up. I don't care and I'm not seeking for that. I have the Holy Spirit in my life and I obey him. And what I would ask you to do is to consider who I am. Check out my testimony. I'm an ex-Muslim. I pray for the people of Israel. I, I pray for the Jewish people. I have tons of messages in fact, if you would check my channel and check my playlist section, you will see I have a, a whole section playlist regarding, regarding the Jews, Jerusalem and Israel. I understand the covenants of God, I understand the promises and I understand somewhat growing in my understanding regarding the end times. And this is what my channel is about. So if you would please be good to consider, reconsider your position and have a chat with your people who work in the office. 
I would be glad to get a feedback from you, some sort of response. I don't know if you will. Anyway, the people who listen to you, follow your channel, I'm sure they will do that for you. I pray they will. I really, I, I just really hope that we can come to some sort of agreement and get along. I want to get along. I don't believe in taking brothers and sisters to court. I don't agree with that. It's unbiblical, it's unscriptural. I think we, if we can amicably reach an agreement, I actually, I emailed your office as soon as YouTube had alerted me that your ministry had complained to YouTube and claimed copyright. I emailed your ministry. I got no response. In fact, that email bounced back. And it wasn't that I got the wrong email, it was the email that YouTube had assigned for me to respond back to you. So this is really disappointing. I think ministries as large as yours, you know, you really run the risk of sort of building these walls around you where the normal common man can't approach you. And it, it shouldn't be that way, you know. Anyway, that's my, that's my view. Um, is there anything else I want to say? I appreciate and value your work on the Middle East, your prophetic updates. What do you call it? I think you call it Middle East updates or something. I think they're really good. I think you have a really good grasp of the Middle East, politically, geopolitically, and I could learn a lot from you. Prophetically, biblical, eschatology-wise, I don't agree with you, and I don't think that's your, your area or gifting. I think you're really strong in your political news and that kind of thing that you do. I think that's really good, very commendable. But uh, again, that's my view regarding your work and your ministry. There are no hard feelings on my part. This is why I've made this video very public so people know, people who know me will understand where I'm coming from. The people who follow you in your ministry, they don't know who I am and they may have received the wrong impression and I don't wish for that I really don't I'm not a disturber of the peace you know Jesus Christ said blessed are the peacemakers and I want to be considered as a peacemaker if I ever come across doctrine that is false heretical I'm very vocal about those things and I reluctantly I speak out about those things and the Lord knows that he gives me grace and he gives me his confidence to do so I don't like to do that so um, anyway I leave the message at that and I please I would recommend that your followers and even my followers would um, not spew hatred not no hateful words against one another I don't like that and I'm not, not going to encourage it I'm certainly not going to encourage anybody bashing or speaking ill of our I mean I don't like that kind of thing he's a brother and um, he's not said anything to me personally so this is a ministry to ministry discussion, a dispute, a misunderstanding, and I believe we can resolve it amicably in good faith. Okay, so if you'll excuse, I'm not brushed up, I fumble with my words, I, what you see is what you get with me, and I'm going to keep it that way, I'm going to keep it real, you know. <laughs> my followers who are listening, I love you so much. Thank you for your support. You've been awesome. You always have been there for me. You've been there right from the beginning when I was just starting out and um, praise God, you know, I've come a long way and I want to continue on this journey. I haven't finished. The Lord is not finished with me yet. I'm not going to shut down this channel. I'm not going to allow for anybody to shut down this channel. I'm going to continue with it in Jesus name. It's a hard, it's, it's a lot of work, you guys. It's not easy. It's not easy to just shut down this channel and start up a new one. Why should I? I've done nothing wrong. I'm not going to allow anybody to intimidate me. It's not going to happen in the name of Jesus. I commit and submit myself under the mighty hand of God. I submit under his hand. I resist the devil and he shall flee from me. Now, if the Heavenly Father chooses according to his perfect will to have other plans for me and whatever ministry he chooses to place me in, I submit to that wholeheartedly. I humble myself under his mighty hand and whatever it is he has in store for me I look forward to it I'm excited um, I'm not upset I'm not angry I'm not holding any unforgiveness I'm just letting you know I think I talk too much honestly you guys I think I should just end the video right there now 
Thank you, and um, please get this message to our brother Ahmed, all right? Hopefully, his office staff won't blink in, put another copyright strike on this video. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Stupid. This cancel culture is, is not right. It shouldn't happen. Anyway, that's me. That's my views. And um, I have the right to express my views. Thank you.